here in the greenhouse. I'll do a little bit of a hot pepper tour. Storm's coming in, so we'll see if I can get this done before the real rain hits and it gets really loud. Lettuce is still going, so just as a, the top shelf over here in the back. This lettuce was planted mid-March, started harvesting it in April. It's just getting probably to a bolt state, um, but we've been harvesting the bottom leaves as it grows. It's still really good, so we're still eating it. Planted two of the grape tomatoes um, there. Just hadn't watered in a couple days, and it finally was hot, so we needed that. And then our two tomatoes that we're gonna try to train up and over the rafters are starting to do pretty good. This one on the right, um, much better. It's a big beef variety. Um, we haven't had any sun really in the last couple weeks, so today we had partial, partial sun. Um, but this video will be mostly focused on all of these hot peppers that we have in here. Um, total hot peppers, I think I counted a hundred and five total pep um, hot peppers ranging from ancho, which is really, really mild, might as well be a bell pepper, all the way up to um, uh, prima tali, uh, reaper type extremes. Um, so I'll try to go through these um, as we go. So hopefully I can get the IDs right. This is a super chili. Um, they're decent hot. I would say mid, mid level. We haven't had a ripe one yet. So this is the first year growing these. Um, so this one's getting pretty close. Um, we have been putting these into salsa already. Um, peppercini, uh, also, um, actually hotter than Jay expected it to be the other day when he ate one. Um, I think he ate, uh, an actual ripe one, an orange one, uh, or reddish, uh, maybe red, I can't remember. Um, but they are a decent size and, and heavy. Um, peppercini seems to be like a, a variety pack. You never know what, what you're actually going to get, because I guess there's, um, it just means kind of, um, sweet pepper, uh, of some sort in Italian um, that you pickle uh, usually to eat. Um, they are pretty good fresh, so that's good. It's a Serrano. It's a little bit small. I had, I just moved these around. Some of these were stuck um, a little bit in the back, um, on the back wall, which uh, is south facing, but we have a lot of trees actually back there. So um, they were uh, kind of cramped behind some of the bigger bigger peppers. Um, we still have the shade cloth up, um, 40% in here. We're in zone 5B, Mass North, North Central Massachusetts. Um, last year we needed it in order to keep it under 100 degrees. This year, like, we're talking about taking it off um, for the next few weeks until we can get some real sun. Our solar generation is uh, less, less than half of what it should be for the month um, compared to last year, which is insane. I'm um, really glad we have a big system so it won't it won't really hurt us but I imagine some people it is. Um, this one should be a Thai. This is a, a Thai variety that's supposed to be extra hot um, so it's much smaller. I'm a little disappointed because I thought we were gonna order the regular like um, two to three inch long and skinny um, Thais and uh, Jay had ordered these and I didn't realize it. Um, so hopefully um, there's some other varieties that I like, but Thai has always been my favorite. And actually I make a um, cayenne Thai um, uh, smoked hot sauce that I really like. It's probably one of the only hot sauces I actually eat. Um, and I put them on the smoker um, and then, uh, then cook them down. This one is a habanero. Got a little guy here. This one also was crammed in the back, so trying to give him a little bit more space up here on the shelf. Um, these pot sizes are a little smaller than I wanted. Um, they're th three gallon, they're supposed to be up potted and we never got to it. So we probably still could um, at this point get them up to a five or seven. Um, uh, we got these pots at the local hydroponic store. Um, for anyone local to Westminster, it's um, Massachusetts, it's uh, Emerald City. Uh, Mike over there has been great. We get almost all our fertilizer over there too. Um, moving down the row, so we've got our big beef tomato and our Cherokee carbon, and I do have 
some onions um, sprinkled in around the edges here. We've got some marigolds, we've got some Thai basil. Uh, it's like a spicy licorice type basil and we have the sweet um, Genovese basil as well. Oh, and some alyssum I think I put in here. So over here we have a death spiral. I don't think, oh, there's a little guy here. Um, I don't know uh, the scovels for this one, but it is uh, pretty hot from what I hear. Um, this is also a death spiral. They were pretty thirsty today, so I just watered, um, watered them. This is the seven pot Jonah. Um, this one we got in a trade. Another guy growing peppers locally. Um, back here is a reaper. This is actually the first day that I've opened up um, the sides of the greenhouse, and I don't know how long. Um, we uh, so what I do is I actually have the oscillating fan um, that I keep moving around the greenhouse to um, to try to make sure that we get the pollination we need when I keep it all shut up, and um, then I uh, will also come in and kind of tap the plants um, if I am seeing a lot of buds on them. Um, but I'm not really worried at this point. Uh, being mid-July we need to get the pepper started but um, some of these will take a long time to get ripe um, this is a reaper here so we're trying to get the height in it now I'm letting it it fruit here um, and then this is a ghost over here it's got some buds on it doing pretty good. <laughs> the, they're overtaking the basil in the middle here. Um, it's kind of funny the leaves look pretty similar actually. Um, this monster here goes all the way out here and all the way here is a uh, seven pot primo. So I can show you Let's see some of the, the buds in here. Um, let's see, there you go. I don't see any real fruit yet, but good, good amount of flowers, which is great. Um, let's see, these two, uh, this one and this one, which are kind of growing together, um, are Sugar Rush, uh, Sugar Rush Peach. As you can kind of see here. This guy's got pretty loaded gotten a trade from a local guy um, in the front here oh this is a lava so it's not doing as well and we ended up pulling the other lava and I trimmed it way down and um, moved it out of the bed so I'm not sure what's going on um, then we have three primatales at the end here these guys Um, the yellowish ones we still need to fertilize. I keep forgetting those poor guys. I really should get them moved. Um, those are uh, peach scotch bonnets in the two bag grow bags at the end. Um, then we've got uh, peppercini here, uh, Burmese bird. This should be a guajillo. That needs to be moved out still. This will be a let's see, let's zoom out so you can see it. Um, this is a yellow tie there. Um, this is a Fatali, um, which is starting to go to bud, which is great. We had, had a lot of luck with some of the hot sauces with Fatalis last year. Um, this is also a Fatali here. Um, we've got a peach scotch bonnet. I think that's what that says. <laughs> Hopefully my labels are correct. Um, we've got a couple of the yellow ties. You can see the peppers in the back there. Um, another habanero. A 
they're orange tabs. Um, and this is another uh, seven, yeah, seven pot Primo. Let's see, whiskey barrel, we're gonna plant something, I'm not sure, probably a fall crop of some sort for veggies. On the end here, we've got some um, regular ties or the extra hot ties. Um, we've got a couple of the um, yellow ties, these tall ones right here. Again, basil, uh, onions, marigolds, and alyssum sprinkled in, in these beds. So I think my labels got mixed up, <laughs> so I'm not really sure on the next table for IDs. Um, try to see if I can show you guys the flowers. So this one says it's a Burmese bird. You can kind of see some of the fruit here. Um, looks really similar to the ties. Um, but this next one says it's a Burmese bird too. But it has fruit going pointing down, which I didn't think was a bird. So I have no idea what this plant was. And it could be the seeds we got back were bad. It could be that I mixed up. Um, this one seems much milder than the tie and um, this one labeled Burmese bird. So not really sure about that. Let's see. This next one is a peach scotch bonnet. We do have some fungus on the, the ground where I fertilized the bed. Um, so don't mind that. It's kind of a normal occurrence when that that happens. Try to get some views of the fruit here. Um, this is a pretty wide plant. They're up to my knees, maybe a little higher actually than my knees, so doing pretty good on size. Um, this is also a peach scotch bonnet. there um, and I found the the uh, the ghost is back here um, that was missing last week I couldn't remember where I planted um, the extra ghost and now I finally found him he's doing really well um, Perry Perry it's over here and we have another Perry Perry right here these are kind of all running together we put so much more spacing than last year and we're still a little tight here but they do tend to go go pretty wild here in the greenhouse because um, I can control the nutrients the, the water um, and usually um, the amount of Sun with the shade cloth um, but uh, yeah it's been really shady so oh, it looks like I have some bug issues so I'll have to look into that. Um, this should be a Tabasco that we got in a trade. We did a lot of upward facing plants this year, it looks like. The next ones are the habaneros. We should have three of these. Back here, another one back there. looks like I really need to trim that guy. Uh, super chilly there kind of scraggly. Um, this is a cayenne. So I did a cayenne so we can have late, some late season cayennes um, in the greenhouse, even though I have 15 out in a raised bed outside um, that is loaded. And this is, should be the Anaheim. Here. Okay, so that is this left side bed. Um, let's see what we have next. This next one says it's a Burmese bird, but again, I think the super chilies and the ties all look really similar. So I'm a little, little concerned I messed up there. We got a couple strawberries. This is our ever bearing. And then most of these in this little four by four bed are jalapenos. Um, there's a couple different varieties of jalapenos, but they're mostly jalapenos here. And then I have a jalapeno on the pot here. And then 
<laughs> these might be ties or Burmese birds. Um, and then I have a Serrano there. As well. I'm not sure if you guys are seeing the lightning, but it's kind of fun. Um, so that is the peppers in the greenhouse. Making pretty good progress out here. The vermicompost, I do think is helping in this bed. I have a small one in the other bed that we're not fully using. Um, the amount of worm activity in the bed is crazy though, which is exciting. I do have um, some zinnias and borage on the back there, but let's give you a look at the, the space. Um, some of these, like this sugar rush is up to my waist about, <laughs> I'm about five five, just to give you an idea of, of height. They're doing really well. Um, some of the yellow ties are really tall. They seem so different than the ties we're used to growing. But I've got more potatoes and grow bags to fill. Also, um, and a bunch of other things that I want to um, grow for a, a fall crop as we're hitting the end of when we can do it. So there's the corn over there, pumpkin, summer, uh, summer squash, and uh, Roma tomatoes, tomatillos, and um, we have watermelon. I don't think it's going to make it. And sunflowers. And then here's a quick look at the raised beds. I do have a guajillo over there on the table. And then um, lots and lots of tomatoes coming in. We've only picked about two so far. We harvested a whole bed of new potatoes already. And then um, we've got peppers all along the trellis. We've got a ton of cayennes. We've got some that are just at the early stage of starting to turn, which is great. Our bell peppers. So if you added all the sweet peppers up, I think it's about 45 sweet, um, sweet peppers that we have also. Um, got a bunch of anchos out here in bags as well. Uh, See, this guy is our, our biggest ancho. I think it's a trident variety, so it's got a much longer and pointier, but some of the other ones look much much more normal, I would say, um, for what I'm used to seeing. Um, and then a bunch of guajillos. I really like to harvest these red um, uh, and dehydrate them and use them in stews and cooks. Um, I think that is all the peppers. So I'm going to get out of the rain.